we live in a modern world where technology has become an inseparable component of our lives technology is everywhere around us and we cannot fathom our existence without it can you imagine life without mobile phones smart tvs laptops or even products like stoves or washing machines you cannot right this astounding fact itself sparks curiosity among many to learn more about this technology and how it functions and the major domain that strikes you first is programming or coding however according to one research 33% of university students fail to learn this magnificent skill so with this session we'll highlight top 5 mistakes that beginners commit while starting to learn coding and how you can dodge them being a beginner but before we begin a subscribe to the intellipath youtube channel will be much appreciated Number 5 on our list is spending a lot of time on research instead of actually writing codes. Beginners often get confused and do endless research on which programming language they should learn, how they can learn that particular language and what resources to utilize for understanding the intricacies of that language. It is okay to do a little bit research about language, but doing the over analysis for months on ways to learn, resources or just reading programming books is not going to give you any positive outcome. Always remember that you can't learn coding without getting your hands dirty in it. It's all about practice and it's all about writing the actual code rather than just reading about it. No matter what language you choose, the thing which matters a lot in coding is your ability to solve problems and this can only be achieved with rigorous practice. Number 4 on our list is learning to code in isolation. A lot of beginners do not interact with other coders or the programming communities due to the imposter syndrome. This is one of the common and big mistakes most newbies make. During the learning phase, it's always better to embrace coding communities to learn. Stack Overflow, Reddit, GitHub, HackerRank, etc. All these online platforms not only aid in finding solutions to code related difficulties, but also help in learning the best coding approach from the top coders sitting across the world. Taking part in community events, working on projects with other coders is one of the best ways to strengthen your coding skills. Next problem we have on our list is not brainstorming over problem statements while developing codes. When you first encounter a coding challenge, you begin to consider a solution. Once you do that, you'll most likely to stop and begin implementing it. That is the first error that many commit while learning to code. An important step in tackling any problem effectively is to look at it from different perspectives and try to identify all the possible solutions to it. Then filter down the best solution that you can implement with your current coding expertise. Then for number two, we have memorizing programs or solutions and not understanding fundamental notions behind them. Many times, beginners try to remember programs for core concepts such as data structures instead of understanding the implementation details. Learning to articulate a problem into a set of steps or what we call algorithm is essentially the best way to learn programming. You should always take time to build solutions and understand logical intuition behind the concept. Finally, on the top of our list, we have not making coding a habit. Programming needs a lot of patience and time to learn. It needs discipline, focus, effort and attention. Lot of beginners give up right before they are about to see result and it happens generally due to the lack of patience and frustration in programming. Coding journey is mostly overwhelming. When newbies realize that they aren't moving any closer to being good coders, they quit quickly and this is the biggest mistake they commit. If you come across lot of bugs in your code, don't give up actually. Try to find mistakes and learn from them. Make coding a habit. Give it a few hours on a daily basis and you will see yourself getting better at this art. That's all we have for this session. Thank you so much for watching the video and I wish you all the very best in mastering the art of programming. To come across more such technical videos, make sure you follow the IntelliPath YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPath provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.